So this is it, the final chapter, the grand finale, the one we've all been waiting for. And our live game is Bayern Munich against Paris Saint-Germain. So what are we to expect in this final? As with a lot of finals, caution plays a big part in the opening stages, but an early goal can blow all that away, so I hope that we can um, create a, a, an attacking contest here, which, which obviously we want for this showpiece. Defending, albeit from an unexpected source. I think it's great to see that kind of application and desire from a forward who wants to help out his defence. I, I think, you know, any good team, really, your striker should be the first line of that defence, and, and he's delivering. It's a brilliant interception. Muller. Marco Verratti knocks it towards the front. Can he find a finish now? Goal! Paris Saint-Germain! Could that be the start of something big? Jim, your thoughts? It's almost criminal to see a defence fail to identify someone who thrives when it comes to shooting stats. They knew, and yet they didn't heed, and they've paid the price and deserve to. Paris Saint-Germain give themselves the perfect start. Can they build on it? Well, Peter, the emphasis should now switch to winning it rather than even thinking about losing it. And that's a throw. And the defence can get it clear. Into the channel, nicely controlled. Away from immediate danger, keeper's not concerned by that. That's a pretty powerful effort, because he really got hold of that one, but he's not going to trouble the keeper from there. Marco Verratti gets it back. Looks to slip it through. Now it's Icardi. Shapes the shoots. Neymar, Neymar! One of a type! He's brilliant! Hot knife through butter. They have done it again. What about that, Jim Beglin? Neymar is the obvious danger man here, and yet he was afforded way too much freedom. I think he was gifted that goal. His reputation should have been warning enough for them. Paris Saint-Germain get themselves a two-goal cushion. Well, that second goal has given them so much more command and confidence now, and they should be able to take it on from here and either add to their lead or, or close it out. Surely they'll manage one or the other. And he's onside. Marco Verratti. Their attempt, just the wrong outcome. Oh, he couldn't have hit that any better, and any other time it would have sneaked in. Just to point out, Peter, that the fullbacks are quite high. And what do they try to achieve? Well, it's obviously a move to push um, the opposition wide men back and, and give them more to think about. Oh, good interception. to get it forward quickly. Has a swing at it! It's a carbon copy of their previous miss. Well, when you see chance after chance go astray like that, it's only natural to think that they may end up with a little regret here. Lewandowski. Now it's Muller. 
Muller looking for options. Well, there's the whistle. The first half of the final has flown by. So we've had the first 45 minutes of the final, Jim. How's it looking for you? Yeah, they'll be boosted by the fact that they've got the advantage at this stage, but will their approach be the same after the break? Um, certainly, if they don't add to it early on the second half, I think they may begin to retreat, just try and hold on to what they've got. Paris Saint-Germain in control at half-time, 2-0. Gay, Marco Verratti. Well positioned to make that interception. Thiago. And it's Neymar. Out to the flank. This is promising. Marco Verratti. Oh, that's neat. And the ball's come out. Philippe Coutinho gets good distance on it. Well, we were unlikely to see a goal then because there were so many players crowding out that danger area. I think something very special was going to be needed. Long and high towards the flank. Now here's the through ball. Lovely bit of skill. Oh, that's not going to find its target. Di Maria. Looking to shoot. And he's there to make a great save. Well, I can only add that he's got reflexes that are in perfect working order, Peter. That was very good to watch. They've managed to get it away. This defence just doesn't trust itself to, to play a higher line. Frightened of people getting in behind. Yeah, absolutely. It just opens up the opportunity of not only strikers getting behind, but the runners from midfield too. Good stop. That wasn't easy. Oh, he made that look really easy, Peter, but I can assure you that wasn't a, a routine save. He had to be very switched on there. A goal kick. Neuer gets it upfield. Now it's Lewandowski, Thiago. Shot at goal! Goes for goal! That is absolutely glorious! About as smooth as it gets! Well, he was never going to miss from there. Well, for me, that's just pure predatory brilliance. It's not so much the finish, but the way he read the situation when nobody else was even alert to it. That's fantastic. We have got ourselves a game here. I think they've done so well to get back in it, but it's important now that they don't become over-eager in chasing another. They only need one more chance. Patience is key. Shoots! Back of the net! Two to the good! They have breathing space! Great reactions in front of goal. He just saw what was on. Oh, look, there's only one player who merits all the praise for that. Not only did he finish it, but his instincts for being where he was are absolutely top-notch.
Two up and very little time left. Surely this is it. And time is up. Paris Saint-Germain have done it here. Winners of the Konami Cup. A massive moment in their lives. So on to centre stage come the central characters. The individuals who, as a team, blended into champions, and this is their moment.